Hey everybody, Marcus Crawford here with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Hey, uh, a lot of us purchased the uh, the DJI Air 3 uh, recently. Uh, such an amazing drone with uh, so many uh, capabilities. And, you know, one of the first things that you find after you buy a new drone is that often there's some uh, accessories that you need uh, for your drone. One of the things is the bag that DJI sent us with the, uh, with the Fly More kit. Uh, you know, some people don't like uh, having to dig stuff out of a bag, etc. So you're looking for the need for a suitcase uh, type of uh, drone case. And the folks at Start RC sent me their new drone case. So, <laughs> I... I'm kind of having trouble holding this up here for you, but the uh, hard shell case, and it says right on there, the hard shell case for the Air 3. Well, that's not all that they sent me. In addition to the uh, hard shell case, they sent me uh, a prop holder for the Air 3 that it, uh, I, I wish DJI would supply this stuff for us when you buy the drone, but they don't. But uh, particularly if you're using that bag case, or, or even a suitcase style, every time you put the drone in and pull it out, the props are getting caught. These propeller holders uh, will keep that happening from happening. And uh, this one uh, is, is, uh, looks like a pretty high quality one. We'll pull it out of the box and take a look at it here in a second. Uh, but they also sent me uh, their uh, filter set, their uh, six pack filter set. The filter set includes uh, an ND8, 16, 32, and 64, as well as a UV filter and a uh, separately uh, circular polarizer. Okie dokie, a couple things to note about the hard shell case. It is uh, hard plastic. It, it, you know, you, we've all seen these hard plastic sta uh, stackable cases before. Uh, they're used for a lot of things, power tools and things like that. This one is especially designed for the DJI Air 3 uh, Fly More combo and more. So a couple things to, to notice here is uh, the latches have changed. It's a little bit different style latch. You pull down on this and then pull up and it, uh, and it unlatches. Uh, and then also what we're used to is, uh, let me fold the handle down. You also have an air vent here, so it is waterproof. You would turn that to close, uh, obviously, if you were worried about it getting wet, etc. So let's take a look uh, inside the case. So one of the things that I like that they did is they included this map that shows you exactly where everything goes. So there's no guesswork about where you're going to put uh the, the uh, various products that come with the Fly More kit. The other thing that I wanted to point out is if you look at the uh, top of the case, it's got that egg crate style uh, foam on the top. It's going to cushion everything and hold things tightly in the case. So you also have uh, inserts in here, uh, the, the uh, foam inserts, and you, and you can pull them out as needed, right? So if you didn't need all this space, you could leave the insert in there. Obviously, I'm going to pull them all out. Uh, and uh, we'll show you how everything fits uh, in the case. Okay, I pulled all the uh, foam inserts out and I want to show you how everything fits in here. So obviously you got the, the, uh, the space for the drone itself and you can see that it fits uh, flush down in there. The, the, this, the, the foam on the top of the, of the lid is going to uh, cushion it. Now one of the things that I noticed is that there were multiple layers of foam in, foam in here so you could get the depth uh, that you wanted. So, for instance, uh, in this front one here, that's where I'm going to keep all my spare propellers. I pulled enough layers out of there that this guy would, uh, would go all the way in and you could get it in there. Now, this next one over here, that's where I'm going to put all my cables. I didn't pull all the foam out of that, so it's not super deep. Uh, so I'm not digging around for the cables. They're all there just... Uh, conveniently for you to grab. Uh, and then uh, obviously you've got three empty spots here for batteries, uh, but you also have the charge hub here. So you really have a potential, I guess, for seven batteries because you'd have three in the charge hub, uh, three right here, and one in the drone. That gives you the capability of carrying seven batteries uh, in the case. And then also this fits perfectly. This is the uh, the 100 watt uh, DJI uh, charge block 
and I'm sure that the 65 watt one would fit in there as well. Now the one thing that I did notice is they've got this cut out that is perfectly sized for the DJI ND filters. Uh, I ironically I tried the uh, the start RC filters and they're just too tall they they stick up over the edge in other words even if it you could slide it down in there but it's gonna stick up too far so uh, kind of interesting that they chose to do that I think potentially you could uh, you could put the start RC filters uh, under there uh, I suppose uh, possibility uh, just just a thought the other thing that I think you could use this slot for is your various uh, registrations and paperwork and things like that. Otherwise, I'm sure the DJI filter kit uh, fits in there quite nicely. So now let's take a look at the Start RC six-pack filter set for the uh, DJI Air 3. Okay, again, so the filter set includes an ND8, 16, 32, 64, a uh, UV filter, and a circular polarizer. I think the first thing we need to do is uh, pull the plastic off of the uh, jewel case. That's always satisfying pulling that plastic off of there. And let's open this guy up and take a look. So there's the filter set and uh, circular polarizer right there and then the UV filter right there. What I'm going to tell you about a UV filter is it's mostly for lens protection on your drone. Uh, it, it really isn't going to do a lot uh, with regard to changing the way your video looks or your pictures look, etc. Then a circular polarizer, it, what it can help you do is reduce glare in your video and it can actually enhance the colors. You have to adjust the polarizer. If you ever worn polarized sunglasses and looked down into the water, you know, they sell them for fishermen, etc. That's exactly what this guy does for your drone. It'll reduce the glare. Uh, but it can it can make the sky look bluer and the grass look greener. But again, you have to adjust it depending on uh, uh, how when, which direction you're looking, where the sun is at, and so forth. So this one is the 64. That's the darkest filter. That was that's the one that you would use on a uh, super super bright day in the midday sun. Let's uh, let's take a quick look and show you how that goes on the drone. Okay, I'm going to see if I can do this without knocking anything over. So I'm holding on to the gimbal here, and I'm going to twist this uh, to, if you're facing the drone, it would be to the left, and it just pulls right off. This is the cover uh, that DJI puts on there. And by the way, in the past, DJI, these have been just uh, holes. There wasn't anything in them. Now they actually have glass in them which helps protect those uh, lenses, so that's a good thing. Uh, so let's see, let's just put the uh, UV filter on there. All of these filters are going to fit on there the same way. You do just the opposite to install it. You're going to just insert these tabs, and I hopefully you'll be able to see those in the holes of the, uh, of the uh, camera here, and then twist it to the right, and you heard that click, and there you go, we've got the UV filter uh, uh, installed on the drone. Okay, next up we've got the uh, propeller holders for the uh, Air 3. Let's get that box open. I also want to point out that on the back of the uh, box it's got visual instructions on how the prop guard fits on there. It looks like the tray part fits on the bottom and then the strap goes over the top. Then just in case you didn't get it they give you a little instruction card inside the box. So here's the propeller uh, guard or strap itself. So this part of it is uh, is hard plastic, and then the strap that goes over the top, pretty cool, is, stop, uh, is soft uh, silicone style rubber. So uh, let's see if we can get this installed on the drone. So with the props already arranged, uh, you can see the cutouts here on the plastic part. So they're going to fit in these little over these little plastic feet on the drone, and then it goes over the, uh, and you can see them fitting in there, a and it also goes over the uh, edge of the uh, legs of the drone there. You can see how that fits over the legs. And then uh, simply, uh, you know, you're going to have your, make sure that your props are in the proper spot there, and you're just going to pull this over, and then uh, latch it just like that, and there you go. Your, uh, your props are... Uh, are all set. That's a pretty slick setup. Uh, very easy to do. Uh, yeah, I like that a lot. And uh, one of the issues that, that I've already had with this drone is 
putting it uh, in and out of the bag and it would be the same thing going in and out of the hard case is your props are always getting uh, caught so uh, well worth it. Hey okay uh, so I want to thank uh, the people at Start RC for sending me these products for review. We've got the prop holders for the Air 3, uh, the DJI Air 3. Uh, this is a pretty slick setup. These uh, prop holders are very convenient. Uh, and then uh, their uh, six pack uh, filter set. So you know pretty much the kind of filter kit that most people will use. Uh, like again, the polarizer, the UV filter, and then uh, a 16 through 34 or through 64 uh, on the ND filters. So uh, it's going to cover you for you know anything from a cloudy day all the way up to bright sun. And last but not least, see if I can hold this guy up. The uh, the hard case uh, for the uh, DJI Air 3. Uh, this is a very substantial case. So. Uh, this is going to be, uh, I think this will be handy for you guys that are using your, your Air 3 for commercial work, etc. You're going to be able to carry uh, seven batteries all together and, uh, and, and everything that you need uh, right here in the case. So uh, at any rate, I guess that's about it. Uh, this is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel out. And if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Most of all, I appreciate you taking the time to look at this video. And yeah, of course, we'll see you on the next one. Uh, your uh, drone accessories that you need for your DJI Air 3 from Start RC.